Well, it's been a while since I've done a cruise related video and I thought now would be the perfect time to do one as cruising is starting to ramp back up here in the US. So in this video, I'm gonna be sharing with you an update on the state of the cruising industry, what you can expect on board a cruise ship if you booked or are planning to book a cruise in the near future, and also give you a rundown on which cruise lines are starting their ships when and their vaccine requirements. Hey, my name is Ben. I'm the owner of Ben Tennis Dream Vacations Travel Agency. And on this channel, I create travel resource and information videos just like this one to help you plan your next vacation. So if you're new here, consider subscribing. So what is the current state of the cruise industry? Well, after being grounded for most of the pandemic, the cruise lines are gearing up for a comeback here in the US. Currently 10 cruise ships across four major cruise lines have either sailed or are currently sailing on test cruises from American ports. Now these test cruises are operating at a reduced capacity and while they differ in safety protocols, the majority of them require all crew to be vaccinated as well as guests old enough to receive the vaccine. So far, only two passengers have tested positive for the virus while on board Celebrity's Millennium test cruise, but those two passengers were asymptomatic and no one else on board was infected. So one of the issues facing the cruise lines has been the CDC's requirement to have all passengers either be vaccinated or show proof that they are not at high risk for complications or death to the virus. However, both Texas and Florida have passed laws forbidding businesses to require customers to show proof of vaccination, including cruise lines. And just recently, a federal judge ruled in favor of the state of Florida, stating that the CDC has overstepped its authority for its mandate on test cruises and vaccinated passengers. The CDC has until July 2nd to create guidelines for cruises, which would mean cruises could start operating out of Florida as early as July. This is also why you're seeing cruises rearrange their itineraries and canceling certain sail dates is because they're expecting to be able to operate out of Florida and even Texas again very soon. So if you have managed to book yourself a cruise this year, here's what you can expect your experience to be. First of all, if you are starting your cruise outside the US, you're gonna to have to adhere to whatever the entry requirements are for that country. So for example, a lot of the cruises have been departing out of St. Martin. St. Martin has its own entry requirements for anybody entering their country. Uh, the requirements are, first of all, you have to have a negative PCR test result within 72 hours of entering their country. You also have to buy their $30 mandatory insurance policy. And then you would have to apply for and receive a written electronic approval from St. Martin, allowing you to enter the country. Once you have that in order, then once you arrive into St. Martin, you would then present your negative PCR test result and your approval entry letter from St. Martin to the officials who will then clear you through the country. Once you arrive at the SIP terminal, you will have to show your negative test results again, your vaccination card if it ends up being a requirement, and provide your check-in documents. You will then receive your stateroom cards and head up through the gangway. The mustard drill has been replaced with a two-step process. Step one is to view the video in the app or on your stateroom TV. And step two is to present yourself to your muster station where you are scanned and receive a sticker on your card. As far as buffets on board the cruise ships go, you will be reminded to wash or sanitize your hands, and even with clean hands, you will not be able to self-serve. The staff will plate the food you want from the buffet, and you will see social distancing signage in the elevators, theaters, and casinos. You will see the crew constantly sanitizing the stairway rails, tables, and elevators on the ship. As far as arriving into a port call, you will receive a card with the latest guidelines. For example, if you are arriving into Barbados, if you wanted to do an excursion there, you would only be able to use the cruise lines provided excursions. However, in Aruba, you would have the freedom to explore on your own. Wearing a mask, however, in the protocols is a must, and if cruise lines end up being allowed to carry unvaccinated passengers, you can expect to wear your mask at all times in public areas while on board the ship. When it's time to return back to the U.S., I believe most, if not all, the cruise lines are offering free PCR testing, as the U.S. is still requiring you to get tested before you re-enter the States, even if you've been vaccinated. And the process for that is simple. You would just sign up for a testing time that's convenient to you while you're on your cruise. And once you get tested, the results for that would be emailed to you within the hour. And you also receive a paper copy delivered to your stateroom. And every other experience on board the cruise ship, including the shows, the bars, dining experience, and cruise activities are all operating as normal as you'd remember them. So I'm going to end the video by providing you with the current list of ship departure dates broken down by cruise line and their vaccination requirement. But before I get to that, 
If you found this video helpful, make sure to like the video and consider subscribing to get more travel related videos just like this one. And should you want help in booking your next cruise or vacation and you want to use me to help you do that, you can contact me at btennis at dreamvacations.com or you can check out my website found in the video description below. And just to let you know, I do provide free quotes. So as promised, here is the current list of SIT departure dates broken down by Cruise Line and their vaccination requirement. And just to let you know, this list is current as of the release date of this video and is of course subject to change. I'm only going to be putting the major cruise lines on this list. So if your cruise ship is not on here, leave me a comment and I can get you that information. Or if you just want an update on any of the dates listed in this video, leave me a comment as well. And I'll provide you with the latest information I have for that particular ship.